Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we're going to be going over a lot of gear. So stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for sticking with me. Now you, I know you guys see a bunch of gear, and it's not the normal format because it's taking up my entire table. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, and we're going to go over everything piece by piece as quickly as possible and show you all the upcoming gear for the rest of this year in 2017. So the first item up is a big, huge tent. Um, unfortunately, I can't read it. It's in Chinese. Um, it was a company who asked me if I wanted a... a to review a flashlight and I told him no. I said, but I'll take the three or four first intent. As a lot of you guys know, I'm going to the Renaissance Festival in Texas. It's the Texas Renaissance Festival. And my uh, wife and I will be going as Vikings. So sleeping in a tent will give us a slightly more realistic experience, but I will be filming and testing all that. So these are fire assist supplement tablets. You basically take the tablets, break them open, and magnesium powder comes out, like um, flammable powder, and you strike it with a spark, and it will help you light a fire. In concordance with my Viking series, uh, one of my good friends, the Backyard Blades, Jonathan Parker, actually made me this uh, like kitchen cutlery kind of Viking-inspired knife. It's uh, made from a railroad spike. It's pretty cool. It's sharp as all hell, though. And um, it fits pretty cool in the hand. This would be kind of cool to take to the Renaissance Festival. He did use a Kydex with some leather to give it a authentic looking sheath. It's pretty neat. I'm pretty excited about it. So Jonathan, thank you. I'm going to put a link to all his stuff down in the description box below. This is a SOG Zoom. Some of you guys are familiar with this. Others may not be. It's an assisted opening knife. It throws out pretty fast. This is uh, Aus 8 steel if I'm not mistaken. If you guys follow me on social media, you've already seen me EDCing this a little bit and getting testing going. That's why you guys don't see videos right away after you've seen pictures is because I actually do test all the gear and make sure it functions as it's supposed to. I'm not just going to pump everything out within seconds of it arriving. But this was sent to me by MSLE Supply. It's militarysecurityandlawenforcementsupply.com and I'm gonna put a link down in the description box below and something they're doing which is awesome which is a YouTube exclusive they didn't have to do this they offered it actually gonna be a 15% discount code for anything and everything on their website and that code never expires so if you watch this video and want to check out their gear no matter what and support them as an American company that is definitely something cool you can do this is a folding stove with fuel cubes this is pretty neat. I actually picked this up from a Walmart. Didn't get this in the mail. And uh, it comes with eight fuel cubes. And the thing it was like full, it was like five bucks for this little portable stove. It was pretty cool. I thought this was one of the smallest ones I had ever seen in my entire life until I saw this one, which is the Ready Man pocket stove. And I about lost my mind. I was like, "Are you serious? That's <laughs> that's insane." So um, they teach you how to build it, and it's pretty nifty what they do. So um, there's a lot of awesome, really lightweight budget camp stove uh, gear ideas that you guys can find just by doing some research. But these will be coming really soon. And this was actually sent to me by uh, StanfordOutdoorSupply.com. And they also, on their own, offered a 10% discount code for all the stuff on their website. They got a lot of cool gear. Um, so you can definitely check them out down in the description box below and that also from what they told me that's not going to be a discount code that ever expires so you can use it on absolutely anything on their website and which is awesome so if you're interested in this or you just want to go per peruse their website and you find something you like that's awesome that's really really cool so um, definitely say thank you to them go peruse their website you don't have to buy anything but I'm saying they are offering a thank you that way which is really nice I actually asked for these to be honest because I like them I thought they were really cool looking the lumen top prints flashlight yeah thousand lumens carbon fiber inlays I mean just gorgeous 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 flashlights and this is the one I've already opened and been playing with a little bit stainless steel carbon fiber works really really well I like it. It's very simple. It's not a tactical flashlight. 
Um, I still will probably be testing this one and checking it out. However, something I'll probably be doing is actually giving this away on a later date on my channel, so definitely always stay tuned for that. So I'm going to keep this thing nice and wrapped and prepackaged so I can do that for you guys since the holidays are coming up. Okay, so next up is the Frontier Max by Aquamira. Uh, this is a water filtration system. I have done a lot of research on the Life Straw and the Sawyer Mini water filter, and I wanted to experiment and check out something new. So, here is the straw that comes with it, and it says Red Lion Virus Protection. You're supposed to remove everything, which is pretty cool. Hopefully that works, because I'm about to find out. All right, now for anybody who follows me on social media, you've already know about the X7 Marauder. This is actually gonna be live on my channel before this video airs, so forgive me on that. But this is a 9,000 lumen freaking brick of a handheld flashlight. It's pretty impressive. It passed all of my testing with flying colors. It, I beat the living hell out of this thing, and it just, I mean, look, it, it's perfectly fine. It, nothing's wrong with it at all. And I also got the S2 A baton, and I have two of them. But uh, this is the one I'm EDCing and checking out, and something I like is the actual, the middle grip, this rubber area, actually glows in the dark, which is freaking cool. But um, something I'm doing also, just like I'm doing with the Prince flashlight, is I'll be giving this one away at a later date too, to say thank you to you guys for all the support you guys have been giving my channel. I get a lot of gear in, and the least I can do is try to give back a little bit of it to you guys as much as I can, just to show you my appreciation for what you guys do for my channel and my family day in and day out. If you watched me live on my Facebook last night, you saw this. This is the Wazoo Cash Belt. Now, this is the minimalist. This is just the belt. Um, they asked me if they wanted, if I wanted the adventure kit and everything, and I was kind of excited. However, um, the cheapest way to get into this is like 30 bucks for the belt on their Kickstarter, and I'll drop a link to the Kickstarter in the description box below. But what I'm excited about this is it's a cash belt. I can put whatever I want in it. I can put cash, duct tape, EDC gear, zip ties, all that kind of crap. So I'm going to actually be building a kit in the next couple days and going to be checking this out. And that will air really soon while the Kickstarter is still live. But um, I've already checked this belt out. I like it a lot. So if you're interested, definitely don't hesitate and pick this thing up. These are two kits that really have me perked up. A lot of people showed a lot of interest in these online when I was live last night. These are the Boss Kits by Stanford, Out Stanford Outdoor Supply. Like I said, I'm gonna put a link to the description box below. But these are available for pre-order right now. These are not released at the time of this video filming. But it's a 127 piece kit for fishing and hunting and a 33 piece fire starting kit. I mean, look at all this gear. You cannot find this much gear jam packed anywhere. And the, here's the kicker. It's $19.99 for the pre-sale price. 19 bucks, that's just insane. So uh, the pre-sale prices are really dirt cheap, so I would definitely jump in on this. Um, this is stock full of stuff. You can't even find stuff this high quality and this cheap even at Walmart. Okay, so these are uh, some, some flashlights from Next Torch. I'm actually really excited about. This is a company that I would definitely keep my eye on. If anybody recognizes Next Torch, you'll recognize it because of the UL360 uh, lantern that I showcased on my channel here a while back and the NIS4 tool, the cutlery set that I did. But um, these guys have some awesome flashlights going. This is a purely tactical flashlight, like police use only. You'll notice there's a one step strobe switch, the uh, nano ceramic um, ball bearings for a glass breaker. And there's no tail stand. It comes for a special tactical holster. So if you're military, police, law enforcement, security guard, this is the, this is definitely going to be a flashlight I would definitely keep my eye on. Um, they sent me a lot of cool gear, but these are guys that are looking for for sure. Um, Gonzo knives, pretty much. Um, these are all replicas and copies of American-made stuff. For us, some people, you don't care. For others, it really burns your biscuits seeing stuff like this uh, because you want to support those the nicer, higher quality American companies. But I'll be doing a review on all these. Clearly, this is supposed to mimic the paramilitary too. And this one kind of reminds me of the SE3. But um, I'm definitely going to be checking all this stuff out and seeing if it is up to par or if it truly is the Chinese knockoff crap that we assume it is. So this is another flashlight by Next Torch and it's massive, like huge. 
But something that I want to showcase about this flashlight that I was really excited about is this right here. So it can stay at its highest setting of 3200 lumens for 3 hours and 20 minutes. 1600 lumens for 5 hours and 10 minutes. Now why am I showcasing that before the review? It's because to me this is a true blue unadulterated search and rescue light. Um, considering its size and the case it comes in, it's actually not very heavy. I was shocked at how decently light it is and something that I thought, some people may think it's cool, some people may not, but there's a dedicated port switch right here where you can charge it into the wall. I've already been doing that to get this battery ready to go for testing because it's huge. But um, I do appreciate the extremely long run times it offers. So you'll be seeing this on the channel very soon. Uh, a few things in this world I like are knives, flashlights, and watches. Um, I don't get as many watches as I was like, so you get stuck with the knives and flashlights. This is a $4 knife that I got on a Walmart excursion that you guys um, have just recently seen. But uh, it's okay, it does the job. I like it. If you haven't seen that video, I have an entire Walmart, uh, Target, Bass Pro Shop kind of EDC and survival gear shopping playlist that it's actually on the channel. So definitely drop down and check out that playlist. I go to every all the local stores here in my uh, local area here in San Antonio, where I will actually um, go to every single one eventually. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up, it's like 18 to 20 Walmarts in my town, so it's gonna take a while but I've been to quite a few already and there's a lot of channel updates coming. It's really exciting, but um, so far I kind of like this. It's not too bad. This is the Buck Compadre, it's a camp hatchet. I like the ergonomics of the handle so far. The leather sheath is pretty nice. It's got an okay edge, it's not too bad. Definitely um, more of a utilitarian edge than a uh, shaving edge really. I do like the D-ring loop they put on it for belt carry. That was pretty thoughtful on their part. So you'll be seeing this. It is full tang. It's pretty nice. Another thing from Next Torch, aka Next Tool, they're the same exact company, is they gave me this tactical pen, which is pretty freaking neat. Um, it's got a glass breaker on it. seems pretty devastating but it is still very much a pen and it does write but something I like about this is this is a lot lighter than a lot of the other ones and I think they call this but I'll have a link to this one down in the description box below too you guys can check this out this pen is freaking sweet I got this by popular demand on Facebook I got the Camilla's Carnivore X like a 12 inch machete thing on from one of my Walmart excursions um, I decided to pick it up because everyone was asking for it, so I figured I would give this $20 uh, machete a go. The AK-47 Field Knife by Cold Steel. And this thing is freaking sweet. For you guys who have checked out my Instagram and Facebook, you've seen me mess around with this already. CPM 3V Steel, DLC coated G10 handle scales, really nice in the hand. Has a very secure grip. I like this thing a lot. There is going to be a first impressions kind of unboxing video that it's already been filmed, but it's going to air very soon. So you guys will see this before anything else. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I like this knife a lot. So you should guys be pretty excited about the review coming up. Well, that pretty much does it. I know this is so much gear. And the thing is, this is a scary part is I'm actually tomorrow at from the time of filming tomorrow, I'm actually going to have more gear than this on the table and I did the math even if I did three videos a week I will have enough for the next year which is pretty scary I'm like wow that's so so intimidating so I'm probably gonna be ramping up my schedule to almost a full-time YouTubing thing where I'll be doing it at least five days a week four or five days a week but um that does it for now guys definitely slam the like up button for this Definitely let me know this is the kind of updates and gear you guys want to see. And for anybody who wants to go check all this gear out before the reviews come out, 
I'm going to put all pertinent links and Amazon links down in the description box below. And by shopping on those links, you'll be helping support the channel. It doesn't raise your prices. It just helps us keep us doing what we're doing. I appreciate everyone who considers actually purchasing through those links. But anyway, definitely share this video out and subscribe for more great updates, gear testing, weapon reviews, and all that other stuff coming up very soon. That does it for now. I'm out.